Hello everyone. Uh, the next step after creating the template that we have just did, uh, for those who just joined, I haven't followed my previous uh, template, previous videos, uh, please go through them. I have uh, described in detail how you can create those templates. So uh, once we create those templates, the next step is how to distribute the reports to the end users. Uh, so in this video, we're going to talk about, uh, you know, how we could can do that. In this one, in this particular uh, uh, template, what I've done, I have created a uh, all dashboard and then all has created a category wise dashboard. So, uh, so let's get started to the next point. So I have, this is the application on which it has been created. So in uh, uh, these templates are appli application specific and also their distribution and reporting, everything is, uh, at the moment is the application specific. There is no central console to control the task, etc. Uh, so uh, we have to do that. Uh, from this particular application. In this application, there is an option called reporting. So we click on that. Once we click on that, it basically gives you, you know, all those things that you need to do these, these, these things. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to click on template. I'm going to upload the template. So this, I'm just going to click over here and I'm going to go in here and I've actually uh, downloaded a template. So in order to download a template, you simply click uh, on file here and you just can download the copy or if you have uh, created using your uh, desktop version of Excel, uh, that is pretty much fine. Okay, once I do that, I'm just click on it here and uh, click on upload in it here. Okay, so another thing that you can do is you can just, you know, uh, upload a newer version as well. If for example, you have uh, done any updates. Okay, now I'm going to go to the next point. Uh, where we're gonna create a task. But before I create a task, I need to add the recipient to which I need to send this report. So there are two ways we can I can send this report. One way is I can send an email, or the second way is I can use the folder, uh, Microsoft SharePoint folder to do that. Uh, for now, I'm gonna go for email. Uh, there's gonna be a later video uh, discussing how you can set up the SharePoint thing. Okay, so in order to do that, it says upload a newer uh, version or I can download uh, an example. So I'm gonna go with the download example because there is specific template I need to fill. This is not that you can do anything. So I, I downloaded this file and if you see it says it has this name and then there is a filter, then there is a group and then there's another tab, it's called groups. So essentially what we have to do is we have to uh, essentially define the groups and uh, you know cre uh, these groups will be automatically created uh, those of you who has experience with end printing they might uh, this might seem familiar with them okay so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an internal table uh, a group called internal and I'm just gonna name it internal and then I'm gonna say there is this user click and this email I'm not use gonna use any filter for now and I'm going to assign that to uh, internal. So there is this time I'm going to start with only one user here. So I'm going to keep it very simple. Uh, actually, I have already created the same file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and upload this particular file. So it's recipient recipient list here. So I'm going to just upload this one. So you, you must have, you might have noticed that it's saying reloading app. So whenever I upload this one, it's reload the application. And another thing to notice, uh, important thing is that whenever you uh, do this, uh, the, the person who is updating that, he must have the reloading rights and also uh, the application should be reloadable. You cannot have copied that from another environment and try to run it here because there will not be Excel fi files or database connections that you have used. So it, it must be reloadable as well. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do over here is uh, I'm going to go to the reporting tasks. So it says the first is you have to add the recipients. Filters is an optional thing. I haven't uploaded any filter. I'm going to show you in a while, but uh, in the next video, uh, in this one, I'm going to keep it simple. Uh, then distribution folder we can set up. I'm going to do that later. This is also an option. Uh, then Building a schedule requires creating a template that we have already uploaded. The next thing is creating a report task. 
and enjoy your report. So let's do uh, create this report task. So I'm going to say that demo report here and I'm not going to add description. So I can use the existing template. So I'm going to say the reporting demo and then I'm going to click on next and it says that what will be the file name and I can, you know, uh, use these time formatting so that uh, I know which file was deleted when. So I'm going to say as demo one here. So it's this is example. That's how it's going to look up. And for now, we have only option for XLX. I think there will be in future. There should be more PDF or word requirement uh, word options as well. And then for filter for now, I'm not going to go for any filter here. So I'm going to keep it simple. OK, so then the, I'm going to click next. So in the next one, I'm going to add user here. So I'm going to say internal group or I can add one user and I'm going to say email. I can write the subject. Unfortunately, there at the moment, there is no um, uh, like variable can, use, can be used or um, expressions can be used in the body message for now. Uh, that is as per my knowledge. So we're going to keep it simple for now. And the next thing we're not going to send it to a folder and next and it says, you know, we can schedule it on different uh, timing. So for now, I'm going to say, you know, uh, on uh, whenever the data is refreshed. So I'm going to hit save. Once I do that, uh, it brings me to this particular template and I can just for the testing purposes, I can click on send now. So let's as soon as I do that. So it's just running here. And it's going to take a little while before I see the report. And I think we have got the report. Uh, I'm going to come in, uh, come to my email tenant where this data is. Word, sorry, uh, this email should be sending directly toward this particular inbox. I'm just going to refresh. Okay, yeah, so here we have uh, the new report has a right. And if I see, uh, I just open that. So it's not allowing me to get an over uh, overview preview. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it here. So you see, uh, if I can just uh, decrease, uh, show you the header. So you see this is the file we have just that has been just generated. And if I uh, look at these, these are the images and this is all dashboard and then there is dashboard for individual categories. So this is so this is the very basic how you can schedule a report. So we have seen in this particular video what we have done in this particular video. Uh, we have uh, uploaded a template we uploaded the recipient list and we schedule the report and sending those reports. In the next video, I'm going to cover filtering options, how you can use simple filters or um, advanced filters uh, in your reports. Uh, uh, that will be our uh, topic for the next video. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thank you very much.